All right, Will Roberts here, and um, I'm here to kind of give you folks a little instruction on how to trick rope. Uh, you can trick rope with pretty much any rope you want, like uh, a poly rope. These are the cotton ropes that we use. Um, tradition goes all the way back to the vaqueros, uh, the cowboys, uh, Mexican vaqueros. They still do it now. It's called a chariata. It's a Mexican rodeo. You see the guys in their suits. They don't move a lot. Uh, the American version is um, the Will Rogers style, which is a lot more movement, jumping through things, and really kind of covering a lot of ground. I do a show right now here in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, where we utilize all that and do some really cool tricks with a Samson spot cord. Now this is actually um, done up in a fluorescent for two reasons. One, I use this in a show if you put a black light to it. It looks really cool when it's spinning because it kind of glows a red. But it also, for this purposes, uh, allows me to show you um, how to trick rope and you can see the rope against this sort of a back black ground. I'm here in like a, a barn or something. Anyway, um, let me show you a little bit about the rope. This is one lesson of a whole bunch of them that I'm going to be doing ongoing every month so you can kind of see some of the cowboy skills, the dying art of trick roping. Um, again, Will Rogers is one of the originals that made it famous. Uh, this is the rope. It's again a so Samson spot cord and um, it's a cotton rope. It has to be cotton core. You can't just go to the store and get yourself some of this because it doesn't work out right. It's just kind of too flimsy. Um, this is called a Honda. I'm kind of rattling this out because there's a lot of information I want to get in only a few minutes. A Honda is basically the eye of the, um, of, of the rope. The eye. A Honda. Any roper, team roper, any kind of head or healer, calf roper, you all know what a Honda is. This is just kind of taped. goes like this. You kind of do two fingers. I'm going to go over this fully in the next episode here. But it goes like two fingers, and then you tape it. And I usually put a lucky nickel in there, and you kind of do it looks just like that. And you put it through just like this, and basically it gives you the rope. Now in order to find out, see I put a stopper on mine because I want it to stop at a certain point. Uh, you don't have to do that. In the beginning, you won't be doing that. This is what you're going to learn. You're going to learn a flat spin. A flat spin basically looks like this. And then we'll learn some other tricks like a merry-go-round. It goes around your body, different versions of it, and uh, different things like a pop on, like that, handshakes, wedding ring, all kinds of stuff you're going to learn. So basically, this is the, the flat spin, and it looks just like this. You take the rope, like you're going to do a regular catch, like if you're going to throw a rope, you know, like this is too big, if you're going to throw a rope, you would hold on to the end, you have this finger like this and you have your fingers like that. I'll show you some diagrams in it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw it in front of you and let go of the loop and keep the spoke. Just so you know, quick breakdown, the rope. When you bring it out like this, this is the spoke, like a bicycle, because if it was inward, in the center it'd be a spoke. This is the circle, the Honda. So you know these things when I'm teaching you, but you're gonna throw the spoke and let go of the, the round part like that. Now the object of this is you have to throw it down in front of you. Don't throw it out. If you throw it out, this is all physics. It's gotta be a center. You can throw it out like this. See, there's no way I can get it back in. Now here's the other key to a successful spin of a trick rope, is keeping your fingers turned. Turn like that. See, I'm turning it. I practice with a pencil, where you just take a pencil like this and you walk around and you do this. Because the bottom line is, on a trick rope, if you don't keep it spinning in your fingers like this, see that? What happens is this. I'll give you the Reader's Digest version, I'll do it quickly. As it gets kinked up, you can feel it. And then what happens eventually is you start seeing the rope do this. You see how it's doing this? Oh, gosh. And then if you try to throw it, it's just a big old, big old mess. You can't do that. So going over what I did, holding it, and then throwing it, bending over, keeping it spinning directly in front of you. You are the center. No matter what I do, it's always the center of the rope. I'm the center, no matter what trick. 
That's this week's lesson. I'm Will Roberts. Go to the website, check it out. There's plenty of stuff there. There'll be some diagrams, some different things. It's a lot of fun. It's cowboy skills. So get out there, get it done, and have a good time. We did it.